This is Tabernacles 2004 with Stephen Jones, Old and New Covenant Marriage. This trip to Houston, I got to thinking, when was the last time I've been here? Well, the last time I came through here was August 22nd of 1997. That just popped into my head, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a very important date. It happens to be uh, my wedding anniversary. We've been married now for, let's see, 1997, seven years. <laughs> well, it was my New Covenant wedding anniversary. Okay. My wife and I have been married since 1971. The ceremony back then, it was good, no problem. I even remembered all the words to say. But it was, uh, it was an old covenant marriage. And that's what, uh, you know, we, we all go through that stage. And that's, it, it's good for what it is. But an old covenant marriage is something where both parties obligate themselves or I should say that in order for it to remain in operation, both parties have to commit themselves to something. They both say vows. This is what uh, Israel did at Mount Sinai. They said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do and be obedient. Well, that's all good. There's nothing wrong with that. Obedience is a great thing. It's not that it's bad, it's just that it's inadequate. Because, not because of the, what was required of them was bad, but because they were not capable of fulfilling their vow. God, on the other hand, was perfectly capable of fulfilling his end of the bargain. And so you can look at the blessings and cursings in the law, blesses, blessings and curses in the law, blessings for obedience and curses for disobedience. And this was part of the law. Well, the law wasn't the problem. The problem was that the people were incapable of being obedient. And so on a corporate level, after a generation or two, they ended up in sin and they began to experience the curses of the law. And by the way, America is in the same boat today. I could go through Leviticus 26 and Deuteronomy 28, point by point, and show you exactly how America is under the curse of the law today, which, by the way, shows that it's still in effect. Otherwise, what's the point of these? Uh, I mean, it would be unjust. But these are judgments of God upon the nation because America is still under an old covenant relationship with God. It's a Hagar relationship, by the way, bondwoman. The requirement is obedience. But there is something beyond that, and this is something we are going into, and it is something called a new covenant. The old covenant is ready to go by the wayside because we are required to go beyond obedience into agreement. Amen. 